Hi, today I want to talk about pain in the very front of the ankle, in particular a condition called anterior ankle impingement syndrome. What that means, anterior just means front, impingement means pinch, so it's a, a pinching of the ankle in this area. Now, this is also called footballer's ankle, uh, football in the sense of soccer, because soccer players that hit a, kick a lot of balls over a lot of years can develop bone spurs from that pressure. So you can get a spur either on the front of this tibia bone, the bottom of the leg bone, or on the top of this ankle bone right here. And just like if you look at my pen there, that can cause pinching between those two bones, particularly when you walk forward like that, when your, your leg bends forward. So that can cause a lot of pain across the very front of the ankle, cause achiness in that area, sharp pain. It can cause pain as you go forward like this, particularly when you're going up hills, that really pinches those areas together. Uh, it can cause a, a feeling of clicking or, or, or catching in that region also. Sometimes you'll feel it when your ankle goes back like that because these areas are already inflamed and that tugs on those inflamed structures. So this can really, this is a problem really can only be diagnosed by x-ray, but there's a few things you can try first to see uh, if you can get over this type of pain uh, before you go in and get an x-ray. Number one, the, one of the first things we do to treat this problem is put a little lift under the heel. And you can see if I just lift up the heel, I actually move that tibia bone farther away from the talus bone, the ankle bone, and I put more space in this region here. And so you can get a heel lift. If you actually, if you go to our website and do a search for front of ankle pain, you'll find a, a link to a couple good heel lifts you can get. The type of shoe you wear can make a big difference too. I see a lot of runners with this type of pain. And often what we'll see is they're wearing a shoe that has a lower drop. And that means that the heel and the front of the foot are about the same level. That's called a zero drop shoe, or just has a minimal drop. It's just a few millimeters thicker on the heel than on the front. If I then switch those runners into a shoe with a greater drop that basically lifts up the heel and once again what that does is it increases the space in this area and if that bone spur is present it can really get rid of that pain quite effectively. The other thing that works quite well is to use an orthotic device to stop that foot from rolling in that stops again these two from pinching into each other. Um, you can actually start with a good over-the-counter arch support and again if you go to the website and do a search for foot or front of ankle pain uh, we have a list of some good arch supports but a custom orthotic that conforms very very close to the arch of the foot does even a better job so if the over-the-counter device doesn't do enough we can make you a custom one the key with the custom device is again they really need to conform close to the arch of the foot and they need to cup around the heel to stop that heel from rolling in I see a lot of orthotics made that just don't give adequate support um, so those are a few things you can try. If it doesn't get better pretty quickly, go see a podiatrist that specializes in sports medicine, get an x-ray and get an actual diagnosis on this region. Most of the time we can treat this non-surgically. Occasionally the bone spurs are so large that the, those spurs do need to be removed in order to relieve all of the pain. Uh, so that's it on anterior ankle impingement syndrome or footballer's ankle. Uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe.